Hey guys, it's Ren here today. I have something a bit different for you. I'm doing a kind of review thing of this game that I got. It's really awesome. As you can see, I was recording a bit of the diving and things. And really, the reason I got this game is because of the diving itself. I saw you, I, I mean, I showed you some of the pretty cool, uh, like, textures as well, like how you can change your character. But anyway, you live in this cave here, so... Basically, you just respawn here every time you die or, like, go into the app or anything. It's got, like, a, a kind of treasure trove thing here. But anyway, at night, as you saw earlier, you can switch to night vision, but it changes it to green. So I try to only use it when I have to. But anyway, you can walk like this. You can run. You can take off and fly. And then you can go up while you're flying. You can also go down. And you can swipe to turn, and you can also attack. So I'm just going to go down, I'm going to land, to demonstrate the attacking. Actually, I'll just go to, uh, be right back. Yeah, so these I can one-hit them, so I basically just always, there we go. Because I need to eat. Let me eat. No, let me eat. There we go. So as you can see, I just leveled up. But anyway, so once you're flying, you can also go fast. And then you can push down to pull up. And go like that. And you can dive. This is incredible. Like, I really love just... Here, let me turn down the volume so you can hear me talking a bit better. Anyway, I really love this diving animation because if you go up you can dive down and it is so perfect like in so many games I've seen where the diving there is no diving you just kinda go down a bit like in school dragons there are some that dive pretty well but most of them just kinda go down a tiny bit and um, this one is incredible like in most games you just see it like that where that's how you go as slow in this game but when you, as soon as you switch to fast mode, you can just dive so perfectly. It's incredible. So I really recommend getting this game. I forget what it's called, but I'll tell you in a second. Okay, so the game is called Ulti Dragon. I really recommend you get it because it's just insane. Literally, the graphics are beautiful. The dragons itself are beautiful. I'll show you a bit more of the customizations you can make in this game. So you press here, and then... Uh, you can go here, and then you can make it a male, which makes it a tiny bit bigger, or you can make it a female, which makes it a bit smaller. Then you can be like a mud dragon, a fire one, a earth one, and a ice one. I chose the ice one just because I think it looks best, but I'm saving up to get a storm one because it looks like Treus from Riders of Icarus, which I'll show you in just a second what the storm one looks like. I'll get a picture from offline. Where's my brain? I said offline. I mean online. So as you can see here, the storm dragon is that blue and black one right there. What I meant by saving up is saving up experience. You have to be level 30 before you can get it, which is pretty high in this game. But anyway, yeah, there's lots of pictures here of... Just let it... Yeah, there we go. Um, different dragons that you can get that are storm dragons. See, um... And you can also collect other dragons. I'm not really sure yet how you're supposed to do that, but you can see up here, this guy's got a whole bunch of different ones. And I'm going to try to do that today. I'm going to try to figure out how to do that, but anyway. Oh, and look, this guy's also got, like, power-ups. That's really cool, because I have just got, uh, like, this one, that one, that one, that one, that one. This guy's also got all of these right here, which are, like, crazy I guess you get those when you get the storm dragon I don't know so I'm back in ulti dragon right now and I'm gonna switch back so that I can get full screen and then okay just let me adjust the camera there um so yeah I have seen some dragons flying around in this game before maybe you like maybe there's a certain thing something you have to do with it I might actually wind up searching up how to do it, but if any of you know how, actually, and have played this game before, 
tell me in the comments because I really want to know how you hear some dragons. Those ones seem to attack me though anytime I get close to them, so maybe they're different. Maybe they're like some kind of weird pterodactyl species or something. But I'm looking around. Oh, look, 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 look. Here's some dragons. Dang it. Let me go near them. I'm down. Here it is. Here's one. No! Don't attack me! Okay, I gotta kill it. Because it's attacking me. It's not all to bond. Yes! I just got one! Okay, his name is Blaze. Look right here. Oh. Look at this. Yes, that is awesome. So, see, now I can play as Blaze, as you can see here. That is so cool. So, then I have my other character up there. It just gives you a random name. Mine is Zena, but whatever. I think I'm going to play as Blaze for a while. I wonder if you can actually customize the other dragons. You can! That's great. Okay, let me see. I'm going to make him male. Oh, here he is. And I'm going to make him a black fire dragon. There. So. Go. Let's let it load in. And I'm here. And there is my other one. I think she just stays there. Anyway, this is so cool. Alright. Up we go. Ooh, fire, fire dragons are actually pretty fast in this game. So yeah, I guess you uh, have to, like, get their health down and then snarl and then it bonds them. So that's really cool. So that's, like, a really, like, that's another great feature of this game. You can collect other dragons. But, yeah, that's just awesome, seriously. So I wonder if there's a dragon here that you can collect that's a storm dragon. That way I wouldn't have to wait till I'm level 30 to get it. But anyway, I think I'm going to end that this video on that note. And I'll see you guys all next time.